All right, let's do some recording. This one called Cabinet Approves 7.4 Million U.S. to Install Floating Pier in Port Royal. Cabinet has approved 7.4 million U.S. for the supply installation and commission of a seawalk floating pier for cruise ships at Port Royal. Making disclosure during Wednesday's post cabinet press briefing at Jamaica House, Minister of Education, Youth, and Information, Rule Reed, formed that Cruise Ventures AS was awarded the contract. In March this year, Prime Minister Andrew Holmes announced Kevin's approval of the development of a cruise ship terminal at Port Royal, creating a platform for the restoration of the center in their historic town. Port Royal is one of the most fascinating, fascinating locations in the entire Caribbean with what over over 500 years of incre incredible history, oh, full of the most interesting characters that have ever lived. A key component of the proposed development is a restoration of historical sites in Port Royal, including the Old Naval Hospital, Port Charles, and Admiralty House in Fort Rocky. All right, an article. They can mention some about the pier for Port Royal and some other recordings that I've done. So it's interesting here that their camera has fallen up with it um, now. I don't think he's mentioned when the, the, um, when this is going to be installed. Um, so I imagine probably sometime this year, next year, who knows. I'd like to know when it's going to be installed. Because like I say, it, when it, if and when they get around to doing it as implemented, we just want to see how, how um, see how that they, that is, that they do a good job on this endeavor and that people are going to benefit from this pier being installed. So. Let's hope for the best and let's see where things go from here. But I'd love to know when it's doing the notes, when the construction is going to set to begin and end. So, anyways, that's all I have to say. End this recording.